Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking. And a while back, I decided that I wanted to make a tripod dolly. And my objective was to make something that was very compact and heavy so that uh, the tripod would take up less floor space and it would be easy to maneuver around. So I came up with this design and then I decided that I wanted a template to, to draw it out and to get the center. And I did a quick drawing in SketchUp and then I printed the thing out in full size. And being able to print your SketchUp drawings out full scale is a big deal. It's a great, great thing to be able to do. So in this video, I will show you a few tricks, and there are a few tricks on how to get precise, repeatable, accurate prints of your SketchUp models every time. So stick around to the end here, and I will show you how I do that. Well, here it is. Here's my office. This is where I spend more of my time than I want to admit. <laughs> and I have, oh geez, I have this ginormous 11 by 17 great big commercial printer here. Uh, I use that for when I print out my bench plans and I, well I hope you know about my bench plans. Anyway, I'm not going to use that for this because I know not everybody has a ginormous commercial printer. What I am going to use is my regular printer, my little uh, eight and a half by 11 laser printer, which is more like what most people have got. And there it is. Well, here's my, the model that I have of my uh, tripod cart. I think it turned out okay. Got some nice wheels on there. I have the weights. Um, it's got the shape that I wanted. Now SketchUp will print exactly what is showing on your screen. And I don't want the weights to uh, show in the print, so I will highlight them and I will move them way out of the way. Then, okay, so I want to print, uh, you know, a drawing of the top, and so I could take it and just kind of adjust it until I'm seeing just the top. You see, I, I put these lines on here; those are just markers. So when I print it, I'll, I'll know where the center is when I drill my hole. Anyway, uh, I could do this and I would probably print okay, maybe, maybe not, but there's a better way to do it. And the best way to do that is, okay, I'm going to put this back to a perspective. I want to show you something here in a second. So the best thing, you go up to camera, you click camera, and parallel projection, that's the default, and that is what you want, is parallel projection. But the thing that they don't always tell you when you go in the help menu, sometimes you can find it, sometimes you can't, is standard views. So you go to standard views, and this little fly out comes out, and you have top, bottom. Well, I want the top. I want to print a, a template or a full-size drawing of the top perspective on this. Now if I had a case piece and I wanted a full-size drawing of the side, I would I would pick, whoops, I would pick uh, one of these other ones. But I'm going to click top. Now before I do, I want to tell you, keep an eye on the model here and watch what happens when I click top. So here we go. All right, so I'll click that and bang. See what happens? It snaps. It snaps into exactly the perspective that you want uh, to print. So now you're ready to go into the print settings. So you go up to File, click that, and you want to click Print Preview. Click Print Preview, and in this box here on the Print Preview, there are three things in there that you want to uh, check to make sure this is going to work for you. First of all, it's Print to Page. You do not want Print to Page, Fit to Page, Fit to Page. You do not want that checked. So uncheck fit to page. Use model extents. You do want that check, so make sure the check mark is in that box. Now the third thing on here is the scale. What do you want it to print to? What scale do you want? Well, I want, for this one, I want a full size. So I want one inch in the printout to equal one inch in the SketchUp model. Now if I wanted, say, a quarter size scale drawing, I would put a 4 in here, and that would give me a, a quarter size. But I want a full size drawing, so I put 1, and now I click OK. Alright, so now I've got um, the print preview of 
what it will show. Now SketchUp does not do a good job of using your paper very efficiently. It does a great job of giving you a nice precise uh, printout and it's easy I think to use but it, you know for this one it wants oh my god look at that 12 sheets of paper and, and a lot of them are blank. Um, there's not much you can do about that. There's a little bit of screwing around you could do, but I want to keep this uh, tutorial simple. So, uh, so for um, for these purposes, um, I am just going to go right up here and I am going to click print. I have no idea why this printed 12 pages. I've done it before. Sometimes it prints six. Sometimes it prints nine. Um, So it actually only printed on four sheets of paper. Well, I can put the other eight back into the printer. So when you go to assemble the pages together, you'll notice that it didn't print to the edge of the paper. And that's because, well, of course, because there's a margin. But this makes it really hard to line everything up when you try to tape the pages together. So what I do is I cut away the blank portion on the margin. I take a scissors and I cut right at the very end of the printed line. Now the printed lines go right up to the edge of the paper and it's very easy to line up the marks and tape the drawing together. So I hope you like this video. I hope you find it useful. I think this is a really, really cool feature and a very, very, very useful thing to have uh, in SketchUp that you can, we can print at complete full-size scale drawings and use them as templates right off the computer. So anyway, like I said, I hope you like this and thanks for watching.